hello everyone welcome to a new video my name is Mohammed. Um, this is a new video in our series where we are preparing for elastic certified analyst exam uh, we cover in the past um, uh, <clears throat> in two videos the first topic and the second topic we covered um, uh, the uh, aggregation pipeline and uh, all the details related to this uh, point in visualizing data topic and today we will uh, cover this point which is uh, customize the format and the color of lens visualization so uh, so far we didn't talk about uh, lens and i believe it is the uh, uh, right time to talk about it and we see how what is lens um, how we can use it to create a visualization and uh, after that we see how we customize <coughs> the format or customize the uh, color of visualization using lens so lens um, it is uh, one of the newest tool um, introduced uh, to kibana it's a drag and drop tool where you will not um, bother yourself with the aggregation you have your index or you have your data view you have your fields you have just a drag and a drop your field and you will be able to see uh, the visualization how to use it easy so you, you come here to the menu you click on visual, visualize library and you click on create visualization and here we go you have lens all right what we have here in lens uh, here you choose your uh, index pattern or uh, as they call it now uh, data view you choose your data view from here and you see once you select it you have data so it will show the field that you can use to uh, drag as you can see the hand here you can drag and drop it here to <coughs> to uh, create a visualization but before that i will just mention a few things so we can use a kql we can use the filter we can pin the filter we can save it uh, and here we can do the uh, the time range management or filter so if you are not co comfortable with uh, with this point you uh, uh, or feel free to refer to the first video i will put the link here uh, to see how you can use uh, KQL and how you can use a filter here to filter your data. Uh, anyway, so here um, I will I will choose the same field that uh, we used it uh, in the previous video, which is uh, customer gender. So you click uh, or you drag and drop as we did. So easy. You don't have to uh, do anything else. You just drag and drop your field and you will be able to see the visualization so you have multiple choices uh, as you can see here um, we we'll start so uh, since i didn't specify anything so elastic or kibana by default we uh, will suggest um, a visualization for you as we can see here it's um, uh, virtual or, or sorry uh, horizontal uh, or vertical uh, bar but it's also suggesting uh, other type of visualizations as you can see here and if you want to choose uh, or if you want to mask the suggestions or if you want to choose you have just to click and you will be able to see the other visualization that um, kibana suggests if for example the visualizations that suggested by kibana here it's not the thing that you are looking for you have something else and you can choose from here so you click and you have all the <coughs> visualizations that you can use to create um, the visualization that you are looking for um, just something that i want to mention here usually uh, where well, usually um, you have this uh, exclamation mark where let's say it, it will tell you why um, your data or the field that you are used now um, you cannot uh, use this type of visualization because the type of your field is not supported by um, this type of visualization and you have here the uh, explanation of the warning or why you cannot um, you cannot use it right 
uh, we have a few things here uh, as you can see during the exam probably they will not ask you to to do because this one is it's uh, just for example here to show the label right um, so if they ask you for example to <coughs> to show the value of the uh, visualization or the count itself like here how many logs or how many purchases do we have from male and female you have you can use this one so you can hide it or you can show it uh, we have something here um, it's uh, also uh, related to the visualization itself so you can you can do whatever uh, you want so you can for example here so I will show it's it will show here um, I can show I can choose the place where where, where I can um, I will do it outside like this it's clean um, uh, so here feel free to to play with it but generally speaking they will not ask you to modify the visualization itself right but if, if they do you know what to do you can come here so now uh, um, mentioning like about or uh, to talk about the exam you have to understand like they also they will not tell you just use lens to create a visualization they will uh, give you a problem right so let's say they said okay what is the scenario create using lens create a table where you have a male and female and also you have um, uh, 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 the number of purchases per uh, per day of week right so um, to answer this question, so we have multiple points to cover, right? So they ask you to uh, create a table. So first of all, we have to change a table, right? A table, what should I do here? I do male and female like this and they and I have the account. But I'm missing something else or the second part of the question where they asking or they saying, look, uh, you have to give me not um, just the count, but count or the number of purchases per day of week right so um, you uh, here you can look for uh, something like day of week if for sure if you don't know your uh, the fields that you have to use uh, the, the first thing that I do uh, for myself I will come here um, if you don't see the data here so feel free or make sure that you are not using any filter and also you have to increase um, uh, you have to increase the time range and also you have to respect if they told you look for the or give me the result for the last seven days or last two weeks or last month or last 24 hours so you uh, keep it in mind you will have a different result if you choose something else right so here as I said uh, if you are not c comfortable with with uh, with uh, with the data they shared with you for or to answer the uh, the, uh, the the exam question or scenario so you refer here and you will uh, be able to see your fields and the values here so they said the customer gender so I know customer gender field and they said or they and, and also they will tell you to give um, to give a day uh, of the week so you have another field here so to do so you uh, search for the field and it is lens drag and drop so just like that so you have a drag and drop right so i have as you can see here guys we have female we have male and as you can see this is top five and this is top three so in the question they said day of week right they they, they didn't say a top three value of day of the week so you have to show all the uh, all the days here so how we can do that as you see here is top three values and we know in a week we have we have seven days so it should be at least here seven so we come here um, to the uh, visualization or to uh, uh, the parameters of our visualization or our lens here so we, we can see here um, top three so you click and you have um, uh, you have a new interface where you can specify or you uh, can add your uh, configuration parameters that you uh, that will satisfy the question or the scenario to um, to answer it correctly so here we know it's seven so it's just return it to seven and if you notice it's not like aggregation here you don't need to type refresh or save so here it is automatically 
saving. So if I do like this, it will automatically save the, um, um, the modification and it will show you uh, like this, right? Um, um, this one, uh, the, um, uh, we can also uh, modify uh, the name that will appear here in your table or in your visualization. So I don't prefer to um, keep it as it is. So I will do day of week and it's automatically here. Um, you want to close and I want to change the other one. So I can also click, come here, scroll down and you have this. Okay, gender, and you close, right? So now you want to modify, you don't like the table, or they say do a pie, or they do something else. So you have the choose from here, right? Or again, you can refer to this one, <clears throat> and you choose whatever it works for you, or whatever the, the, the question asks for. So now they said you... Um, want to uh, modify let's say i want to add a color here that it will show me let's say if it is less than 60, 62 or 65 it's green if it is more than 65 it is uh, yellow if it is more than 70 something it is uh, orange if it is more than 81 it's red and so on and so forth so how we can do this easy so here we have our visualization. You click on the count, you scroll all the way down and you have this one, color by value. So you click, so you have two choices. Even you um, uh, color the text itself or you color the, uh, oh sorry, or you color the, um, the, the, the cell itself. So we will go with the cell and automatically it will show you like this. Now I want to modify the colors. I said if it is less than 65, it is um, yellow or whatever. So you click here and it will show you. So you can choose automatically from here, from the status, and it will show you directly here, right? And it will um, give you the, uh, or automate the, uh, the range, as you can see here from zero to 20%, or if it is, greater than or equal um, zero if it is greater than or equal 20 and so on and so forth if you want to do something quick to reverse the colors for example you can just click and reverse the color i will return it back if you want to add another range here keep in mind it's with uh, percent if you want to play with the numbers also you can modify your range and it's 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 probably will be in this scenario so you have to uh, make sure you use the uh, correct uh, uh, value type percent percent or uh, or number and here you can modify um, your visualization so let's let's uh, uh, let's say i want to do this as blue so it's it's changing here and this one i want it to be as i don't know as this color so you change it here and so on and so forth. Once you finish, so it's um, uh, this is what they was uh, looking for. You save uh, your uh, visualization. There is a few things that we can uh, discuss uh, or here we can modify. If you want to change the um, the field here, you can also come here and you you change the name or sorry you choose the right field that it works for you so even from here drag and drop or here uh, here you modify it here the uh, number uh, rank by so how do you want to rank the um, um, the field here uh, so here uh, you you keep it in mind if they ask you to uh, to show it by uh, alphabetic or or you customize the rank so you can come here and you uh, choose whatever you want so here if it is ascending or descending so you can also to you can choose uh, from here um, uh, to uh, to rank your uh, your output um, um, so here also uh, uh, this one for the advanced parameters so let's say let's choose the other one uh, give me one second so this one we go to advanced let's do let's say here five 
here I can see the five days of the week and we have a, another a value where they put uh, the other values which is the uh, the other two days right so we have five and uh, we're supposed to have seven they put the two days here so if i want to remove it like from here you can just in select and here we go you in select it so it's really easy to uh, create your visualization um okay what else uh, here if you want to include or exclude one of the values so if if you want here for example to include only thursday uh, you click and it will show you uh, thursday if you want <coughs> to show all the days and you want to exclude one of the days wednesday for example so here you have all the days the six days of the week except um, uh, wednesday um, and also you can customize your um, uh, uh, formula or your exception uh, or your filter here you can use a regex uh, expression to write your uh, uh, exclude or include value here this is name uh, this is text alignment so it is um, in the left so if I, I put it in the middle it will be in the middle if I want to put it in the right it will be in the right okay um, there is something else uh, it's really useful um, so here, for example, if I want to create a filter based on Monday, I want just to show Monday. So I can click here on the plus and it show me the uh, um, uh, the, uh, the values or the output that uh, or the purchases from male and female that's only or come only on, on, uh, on Monday. There is another way that we can do it here, which is uh, when we which is this one. Uh, directly filter on a click so if you enable it so here um, the the values itself will be clickable so again Monday you just click on the value and it will uh, create a filter for you which is really uh, really useful right so let's let's check if we have something else um, right Yeah, I believe, yeah, there is something else that we uh, probably will talk about it, not probably, for sure, we'll talk about it later. But I want to uh, specify it here, or I want to show you here. So here in the metrics, we have count of records. So you can choose your formula here uh, automatically, or you can customize your formula. So you can click here and it will give you um, a way to customize your uh, formula and this is a really uh, interesting point or, uh, or it's really important uh, thing to learn about it or to, to learn how, how, how it works. So uh, how to use it? So let's, let's expand. We have uh, more space. So here in the down, guys, if you can see, you have the uh, documentation, right? So you have the documentation of the uh, uh of the uh documentation of a formula sorry so this is how to choose a formula so if we want um i don't know to see a percentage of total or something so you um uh, you you can find uh, the formula from here and you will be able to see uh, an example here and how it works uh, the uh, the description and the example uh, how uh, how it works so um, we will see in the uh, next videos how we use a custom formula and it's really important uh, point uh, again um, uh, with that being said i believe uh, i cover everything about uh, or the for the first uh, video about uh, lens we will see too much or uh, in the next video uh, feel free to leave a comment uh, or if you have any uh, question related to lens and uh, we we'll see you in the next video